Welcome back everyone. We're going to quickly talk about which iPads are potentially going to be getting iPad OS 14. Now, there's no way for me to verify this just yet, but based off everything that we've seen in the past and everything up till now, I'm pretty sure we have a definite list of what's going to be happening and what's going to be coming with these new iPad and these new iPad OS 14 updates. So as we know, Apple just released and announced their new iPads, the 11 inch and 12.9 inch versions. And these are some pretty big changes, you know? I mean, they brought a new camera and everything and a new camera lens or whatever. So I guess I'll start from the newest devices to the oldest ones. So for sure, the newest iPads are definitely going to be getting iPad OS 14, that's a given. We have obviously the new 12.9 and new 11 inch ones. So those are definitely going to be getting it. We also have those older 11 inch ones and 12.9 inch ones, and those are going to be getting it too. So those two new iPad Pros that have just came out in the 2018, 2020, these ones, those are definitely getting it without a doubt. We also have that older iPad Pro 10.5 inch model and that iPad Pro 9.7 inch model back from 2016 and 2017 and both those iPads are also getting iPad OS 14 as well based off everything we know. Now in terms of the iPads like the regular versions the 399 ones all the iPads that were supported with iPad OS 13 are going to be getting iPad OS 14 so that's the iPad 5th generation, iPad 6th gen and iPad 7th gen as well. So all three of those models will be getting iPad OS 14 potentially, as well as the newer iPad mini 5th generation that came out last year and the iPad Air 3rd generation that also came out last year. So those are all the devices as of right now that we are assuming are going to be getting iPad OS 14. So that leaves two devices out that didn't get them last year. And those two devices are the iPad mini 4 and the iPad Air 2. Now these two devices are potentially not going to be getting iPad OS 14. And the reason for this is because they're running that Apple A8 chip in a way. I do understand is that Apple A8X chip and the iPad Air 2 does have two gigabytes of RAM, which is understandable, more than the iPhone 6's one gigabyte of RAM. But what I can tell you is, is that iPad OS 14 is probably not going to be coming for those specific devices, which is not a big deal, I don't think. I mean, I think a lot of people don't currently own those iPads, and if they do, I think they might be ready for an upgrade, especially considering the fact that these newer iPads came out, so that means these older iPads are going to get even cheaper, which is going to be a really, really good deal. If I were you, dude, and if you had the opportunity to and the funds to do it, I would 100% recommend you to at least pick up the iPad Pro 10.5 inch that came out in 2017. I just reviewed that thing not too long ago and that thing is a very, very good deal. I mean, it has so much going for it. It's a very good bang for your buck and it even has that motion smoothness or whatever it is which allows 120 hertz refresh rate on that display. That's a really, really good price to pay for a tablet like that, or really any other iPad that's supported with iPad OS 14 that I already named. If you have an iPad mini 4 or iPad Air 2, be prepared for it to be unsupported with software. However, there could be a potential that it could get an extra year of software updates, you know, on iOS 13, just like how the iPhone 6 and iPhone 5S got, but it's really not guaranteed yet, and we really don't know fully. But based off what we know currently, that's really all we can assume. So those are the iPads that are going to be getting iPad OS 14 potentially. Again, not a definite list, but something that, you know, makes more sense than not. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.